Welcome to the Future of Real Estate. I'm Brett Ellis of the Ellis team at Remax Realty Group. I'm joined today by my mother, Sandy Ellis. Sandy, welcome to the show. Oh, thanks, Brett. All right. Well, you've been pretty busy the last several oh, weeks. We have. Uh, we've been showing a lot of commercial property. We've got some needs, don't we? Absolutely. Well, why don't you talk about some of those needs because um, we're going to be selling a lot of commercial property, it looks like, and we might as well tell people about it because maybe we've got something that someone needs to sell. Oh, well, that's true. You know, we've had a lot of requests lately for multifamily properties, so like big apartment complexes, condominium type uh, units, lots of those, uh, shopping centers and uh, strip centers, all that kind of thing. And, you know, amazingly, we even have some a, a lot of people looking to buy homes. Now, you know, if you want to call in and you happen to have a property that fits this criteria, you might want to say you're calling for the investors because some of our investors are not really wanting to pay full price. Uh, they want to get the best deal that they can. You know, when we're in a distressed market, they're kind of looking for opportunity time. And so, you know, you might have a property that's not perfect or that um, you can't afford to, you know, replace the air conditioner or do some of the things that you know that need to be done, and you would be willing to sell that property at a discount. It definitely then would qualify for some of our investors in this investor program. Or it might. You know, we'd have to take a look at it. Okay, so to recap... They're looking at multifamily. Multifamily. They'll even look at some single-family homes. Yes. They'll, but they're looking at, aren't they looking at like at shopping centers, boat marinas, boat slip storage? Um, Absolutely. Would yes. they look at golf courses? I mean, what, tell me, what, what I all, haven't heard them talk yet about, uh, no, not warehouses, okay. and so far I haven't heard them talk about a golf course. But they are looking at, you know, the shopping centers, the multifamily, the marinas, all those different kinds of things, yeah. Okay, sounds good. Well, we've got an article out in the newspaper today, and it talks about some clues in the, um, it talks about what, yeah, we'll come to our hot properties here in a little bit. It talks about some clues in terms of pricing. And but the bottom line is, uh, and I don't have that article here to show people, but uh, the bottom line is, you know, prices are up, Sandy, about 10% where they were last year. And, uh, but, and they're, you know, they've, they've kind of leveled out here. And the, the, the real th question is, what do we think is going to win out? And in the article, we lay, lay out a series of, not arguments, but a series of clues. On the one hand, we've got historically low interest rates. We've got bargain properties. Um, and we've seen, uh, it's you know, the foreclosures and the distressed sales have kind of subsided a little bit because we, you know, the government's tried to come up with the programs that work, but they're not working. HAFA has been, to a large extent, a big failure, hasn't it? Well, it, it definitely has, and yet, you know, this week in the paper, I saw an article that said um, that the July foreclosures, that even more of them came to the market again. So there's kind of mixed information all the way around. I think we're going to have more foreclosures come to the market, but it takes time for them to come. And we've been handling a lot more of these properties. We're starting to hand, handle the Fannie Mae's and several more of the banks now. But uh, So I don't see it subsiding. But um, anyway, it's just going to be kind of interesting to see what's going to win out in terms of when the more foreclosures do come. The short sales are not going through. I mean, each month we're getting a few more through than the previous month, but not like Hoffa is not working like it was intended to, was it? Oh, uh, definitely not. Um, it, it's just not moving things. We thought that it was going to bring properties to the market. Uh, the lender was going to actually work with you, and within a certain number of days you would have their bank-approved price, all that kind of thing. Uh, we're not seeing that. Not seeing that at all. So it's gonna be. We're gonna. You know, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens going forward. Hey, by the way, Sandy, next week we have a, an important guest going to be on the show. Uh, Lee County Sheriff Mike Scott's going to come on the show, and we're going to ask him some some questions. And if you've got questions you'd like to see us ask him, give us a call at two three nine four eight nine four zero four two. We'll be happy to look into that and see if we can uh, ask those questions. Some of the questions I want to ask him are, you know, the budget. He's looking at a 3% rollback in his budget and how he's going to manage that, uh, you know, with increasing costs of running the jail and deputies and fuel and just all the stuff. The other thing is we've seen the immigration debates in Arizona and Virginia. I want to ask him, you know, when you pull someone over now, uh, what's that process like? And does he check with the uh, ICE, you know, immigration and uh, natural services and whatnot? And, and just kind of go through those laws because we hear conflicting things, and I'd like to get it from a law enforcement perspective as to how important this is 
what do they do, what do they not do, what's legal, what's not legal, compare and contrast maybe the Florida law. Because I hear like some of the attorney generals are saying that they're coming out with their immigration plans. But, you know, as a voter, I almost don't know what that means. I'd like to hear from law enforcement what that means. So I think that'll be interesting as that well. That should be a great show, Brett. Yeah, uh, yeah well, yeah. stay tuned next. We have other questions as well. Yeah, 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 that's just a few of the questions we have, and we'll, you know, we'll just keep asking away. So uh, anyway, why don't we talk about some of our hot properties this week? Because we have some, don't okay, we? Okay, yes, we do. Certainly. Okay, well, yeah. let's, let's go to that. What do we have here, Sandy? You know, you can't tell it from looking at this picture, Brett, but that's an incredible waterfront property in Cape Coral, and it's just like one block from the river. So it's... Uh, and a very, very open floor plan. Uh, that picture is kind of... It's uh, like a great room there. Yeah, uh, huge great T tile room. Tile floors. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's a look to the kitchen. Custom kitchen, very, very nicely done. A lot of space, very open, pool, spa. Now, there you can see the canal behind the pool and spa. Yeah. And would you say it's one block to the river? About one block to the river. There's a dock, you know. Um, what kind of price gadgets? are we talking about something like that? Well, we have that property on the market at uh, three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That's an awesome property. Yeah. Okay, all right, and wh that's in where Cape Coral. That's in Cape Coral. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So give us a call. We'd love to show it to you. All right, and there's a close up of the dock and yeah, yeah, boat lift and whatnot. Okay. Nice big deck area in the back as well. Yeah, it can have a nice boat there. Wrap dock. Yeah, yeah. it's nice. Does that price include the the boat or no? Uh, no, I don't think the boat's included. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I I don't see one. That's why I had to yeah, ask. So yeah. okay. Well, here's one that I've got. Now, this is a bank foreclosure. This is a three-bedroom, two-bath home. The home was built in 05. It's about 2,256 square feet of living area. So it's kind of a large home. Big, yeah. Yeah, so let's take some... Uh, here's a shot of the back. There's this, the screen lanai there. This is uh, looks like a shot of the uh, living room and off to the dining room and the kitchen there. And here is a shot of the kitchen. Upgraded cabinets, huh? Yeah, it's got some spiced maple cabinets. And that home was on the market or is on the market for $114.9. Ooh, that sounds like a good price. A lot yeah. of square footage for that, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay, what do you have? Well, Brett, this is a property on Lake Mahogany that's in Reflection Lakes. That's a gated community. You know, it's got a pool, spa, tennis courts, all those kinds of things. Well, well I like the wood that. floors on this one. Yeah, yeah, beautiful floors. And... Um, Nice colors, upgraded cabinets, lots and lots of upgrades. Look at the appliances. Stainless steel appliances. Uh, yeah. Looks like Corian. Is that Corian or Grand? It looks like Corian. Yeah, Corian countertops and uh, stainless steel uh, or nice fixtures on the you kitchen know, sink as well. I'm not sure that's not... Um, Zylestone or something? No, I don't think it is. I think it's uh, Formica, actually. Oh, well, it looks like Corian. Yeah, but it's beautifully done. Okay. All righty. And what do we have here? Well, that's definitely granite on the uh, yeah, countertops right. there and a nice... Uh, a beautiful tile. Even look at... You can kind of see it into the shower. goes mm -hmm. all the way up. Yeah. And uh, the flooring. I actually very, like the artwork, too. <laughs> done. Yeah, they had some neat stuff. Okay. Neat colors. And how much is that one? Uh, we have that on the market for 150000 That's a great price. Okay, it's super. 1734 square feet of living area. It's a second floor unit. Really, really nice. Well, if you want to take virtual tours of these properties or any of the Ellis team properties, just remember one website. Just go to topagent.com. You can also go to topagent.com. We've got links over to our leecountyonline.com. You can search the entire MLS, regardless which company or which agent has a listing. You can search our listings. You can search any listing in the MLS. We've got them all right there. One website to remember, topagent.com. Of course, Sandy, if someone wants to call and talk to us, what's our phone number? Well, our phone number is 239-489-4042, and we'd love to talk to you anytime, any questions that you might have. And if you happen to have any of those investor-type properties I was talking about, of course, we do the regular properties as well, please give us a call. Absolutely. You've got a commercial property, and you think you want to run it by us, um, you know, no harm in talking. I mean, we run it by these investors and see if it's something they're looking for. So 239-489-4042. Uh, Don't forget our website, topagent.com. Stay tuned next week. Uh, special guest, Lee County Sheriff, Mike Scott, and we'll see you next week.